Hello YouTube, N3SDO here with another duplexer video. This is a Wacom 220 megahertz 4K bandpass band reject duplexer that had been operated for years in a very wet environment and rust and corrosion has left it in a very bad state. Not to mention the tuning was also badly off. The bandpass adjusting screws on the top were terribly rusted and the coax connections were a bluish green corroded mess. This is primarily a disconnection and cleaning video rather than a major disassembly with the blowtorch like I needed to do on the 440 duplexers. This one's going to primarily need a heavy duty cleaning and I'm going to try electrolysis to remove the rust. Markings were made Measurements and a pile of photos were taken to document a duplexer in case things went south. I have a reference to go back and restore it. The tuning knobs were removed from the bandpass adjusting screws and then the coax harness. The connections were covered over and the unit was sprayed down with a multi-purpose cleaner and then wiped down. I wire brushed the rusty screws to remove any loose material. I then inverted the duplexer and improvise some wedges and supports to hold the can at the right height to just dip the screws into a TSP trisodium phosphate electrolyte solution and use some electrical current to de-rust them. The wiring is negative to the duplexer and positive to the nail or bolt used as the positive electrode in the electrolyte solution. 12 volts was applied and it drew about a quarter of an amp. Bubbles began to form and the solution grew dark and floaties were observed swimming around in the jar. I could tell something's happening, so I left it to fizz for the next couple of hours. Comparing my start and finish results, I would say that's a positive result. I was getting ready to mix up a batch of fresh solution for the next screw, and I noticed on the back of the TSP box at the bottom do not allow TSP solution to come in contact with glass. Well, shucks, I'm using my favorite old glass pickle jar. So I found an empty 2 liter plastic pot bottle, cut the bottom off to make a new container, and then mixed up another batch of solution. I'm using about a half teaspoon of TSP to two cups of hot water. I tilt the duplexer, slide the uh, solution jar under it to dip the screw to be cleaned, and then I raise the solution container up in a box of hex nuts and then add enough water until the liquid level is at the right height. I cleaned the gunk off of the electrode nail for batch number two and get it set up and applying the current. I'm not quite sure what this bubbling is. Is it breaking the water bonds, giving off hydrogen and oxygen gas, or is there something else going on? Just sort of looking at it, it's kind of like a disgusting lava lamp. I let the solution work longer this time and got some odd colored foam appeared on the top. After I wiped the foam away, I rubbed the screws with an old toothbrush and the rust had become a slime and it just comes right off. The nail in the process gets quite yucky and needed to be cleaned with a brush. But this method does a pretty good job of cleaning the bandpass screws. A whole lot easier than what I had done on the 440 duplexer. The band reject notch tubes were a nasty mess also. I was a bit surprised to learn that the center conductor in the reject tubes was actually quite short. I had thought that they would be a quarter wave in length, but this doesn't appear to be the case. I disassembled the tubes, cleaned the exterior and the connections with Neverdull, and then wiped them down with deoxit D5. I removed the plugs and looked down inside the cans and everything looked acceptable down there, so unless I've got a problem, I'm not gonna try and extract the plungers. This ends part one. Stay tuned for part two, 73s and three SDO.